Hi and welcome to LA Live. We're here today for a very special episode and we're talking all things California with our resident Californian, Adam. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Jody. Great Happy to, to be here. have you here. Well, we've got a special deal for our viewers this week in LA and I, that's why I wanted Adam to come and have a chat with me here today. Yeah, Because absolutely. you're from LA. Uh, yeah, I have LA pride. I'm from Manhattan Beach, which is um, just, a f it's in LA counties. So I think I'm kind of an expert in the area. I think I have a few things to bring to the table, so. <laughs> Great to hear. Yeah. So what's your favorite things to see and do in LA? Um, so I think one of my favorite things uh, is downtown LA, actually, out of all the different uh, parts of LA. Um, and funny thing is we're actually going to talk a little bit about Nomad Hotel today. Correct. We've got a new hotel opening in LA called the Nomad Hotel. A stunning building. It's 1920s um, Italian bank it was originally, and now it's been made into this stunning new hotel, which of course will end up being um, the new hottest spot in LA, no doubt. Yeah, and I think it's so interesting because Nomad really... Uh, brings together that historic L.A. feel with the kind of new age, um, you know, shiny new L.A. And you have those beautiful rooftop uh, pools and amazing galleries and, and the uh, beautiful bars and stuff like that that are yeah. super chic. And that's kind of really what's in right now is bringing the history to the new age uh, Los Angeles. Perfect. Yeah. And if our viewers would like to stay at the Nomad Hotel, we've got a great deal at the moment, which is fifteen ninety nine for four nights. So you can experience that old world with the, with the new world yep. of downtown LA and enjoy the two restaurants on site, the Italian style cafe. So you can get a beautiful coffee all day long and then enjoy the rooftop pool with great views over LA and really you know feel like you are living um, a bit like a, a local lifestyle yeah, in LA. Or a celebrity. Absolutely. <laughs> you'll a celebrity. See some up there. Yes, I mean absolutely. You'll, you'll kind of be in the epicenter of LA so you have downtown LA but you have instant access to Beverly Hills and Santa Monica and so many other cool spots you know you can check out the beaches uh, with within half an hour from from downtown LA so it's super accessible and, and you really have everything at your disposal and you can feel like a a true celebrity uh, insider in downtown. Absolutely. Well, I was really lucky recently. We had Melanie Meyer from Visit California in here to tell us all about California. So we're going to flick over to her now. Hi, Melanie. Thanks so much for joining me today in the Alley Live Lounge. It's great to have you here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And it's wonderful we'd like to have someone from actually California here. So you do represent Visit California, but you're a local Californian. I am, yeah. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, but I've been living the Sydney life for the past six years. Fantastic. Yeah. And I mean, California is such a huge place to visit. I mean, the people think of California and they think of LA um, and Disneyland, but there's so much more that it actually has to offer, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. We've got some incredible gateways of both um, Los Angeles and San Francisco. And those are always um, changing. They're ever developing. They're always the epicenter of what's cool, hot and trendy, mm. whether it's coming out of Silicon Valley, the newest technology trends, or some of our fashion and food um, culture culture that's coming out of Los Angeles. So what's great about California is it's not just about our gateways, it's beyond the gateways. Mm -hmm. um, just two hours from San Francisco, you can be in the iconic Napa Valley and just four right. hours into Yosemite. From Los Angeles, you can be a two hour drive away from Palm Springs and Coachella Music Festival, wow. and then just two hours south to San Diego. So everything's really compact. Mm -hmm. We like to say compact diversity. Um, everything's right there at your fingertips. You can be surfing and skiing in the same day. It's fantastic. And yeah. it's really accessible. Like driving in the States is quite easy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Aussies kind of get a little scared on yeah. the roads. And I can definitely understand that after a 14 hour flight, yep. hopping in a rental car um, right out of LAX. But commonly, um, you know, get, get really comfortable on the roads. Um, mm -hmm. Aussies can sometimes feel a little timid on the roads, just being on the other side. Yeah. Um, so one of my best recommendations is to just taxi to your first hotel, get acclimated, learn the lay of the land, Uber around in our major cities. It's really easy. And then when you get out to exploring, that's when you pick up your higher car. Four hours yeah. up the coast, you see some amazing coastline that you can only really see in a higher car. So it's something that we absolutely recommend um, Australians get out there and, and explore on their own. Oh, absolutely. I've done that myself. I've got, jumped in a car, drove up the coast, absolutely amazing scenery up there and some wonderful like you know shopping outlets as well yeah, so yeah. just outside of LA so very accessible.
accessible to get to if you've got your own car. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What I particularly love about that Highway 1 drive is the difference from Southern California to Northern California in the different coastlines. So yeah. Southern California, it's kind of what you think when you hear um, California Beach. So it's that sandy coastline, palm trees, mm -hmm. um, your crashing watch. waves, yep. your bay watch. <laughs> and then as you go further north, it just starts to change a bit into these dropping seaside cliffs, mm -hmm. kind of that cooler, Stunning. more rustic where forest meets the sea. So it's this really cool juxtaposition just a position that you get to see from south to north. Wonderful. And there's been a really big like food revelation that's really came out of California. I know like, you know, we're all seeing these, you know, superfoods at the <laughs> moment and your quinoa and your goji berries. And I think LA is really like where these trends come from, don't they? Yeah, California is known for being a bit of a fruit bowl. So yeah. um, in our center valley is where a lot of the produce from the US actually comes from. So um, food trends just seem to happen there because that's where our produce and the food is the freshest. Mix that in with celebrity and lifestyle culture that comes out of LA, mm. what's hot, what's new, what's healthy. Yeah. And it's just kind of this mixing pot for um, creating these amazing food trends. So I think LA was the first place I ever saw matcha. And now here <laughs> in Melbourne, you can get matcha coffees pretty much on every corner. But that's so true. LA was doing it years ago. Oh, right. So. Yeah. <laughs> Melbourne's slowly catching up then. <laughs> Only on that trend. Coffee, you guys have done. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we, yes, we own the coffee, that's for yeah. sure. And so, like, what would you recommend? Like, um, um, you know, our viewers love California. They've been there before. Um, but you know, what we what would you recommend? You know, be, getting outside from doing the theme parks, yeah. and after you've done LA and you've done the Hollywood Hills and things like that. You know, what's your favorite yeah. thing to do in California? Well, first time visitors certainly love going to visit our icons. You're so close to Disneyland, Hollywood, San Francisco, the cable cars, the Golden Gate Bridge. Our icon cool. list is pretty unreal. Yeah. So for that first time visitor, Instagram, Instagrammable, um, you know, yeah. twenty something going for the first time. That's it's an awesome experience. But what's really great is we're seeing a lot of Australians going back for that, that second and third time trip. Yeah. Um, I think some of the statistics are about 70% of all travel from Australia is going back to the US for the second or wow. third time, which is pretty incredible. Great. Well, the flights have never been changed. The no, flights so are amazing accessible. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really great. People are just getting a little bit more exploratory. They want to know more, have a more authentic experience. And yeah. so um, getting out there and seeing a little bit more than, um, yeah. than our gateways is amazing. So um, yeah, getting in that higher car, exploring a bit more of the state, it's really, um, yeah, it's a great way to Definitely, travel. Definitely, because yeah. the national parks in California are stunning. Yeah. You know, I've been to Muir Woods yeah. um, and even just... Um, getting outside of Hollywood up in the hills doing some hiking, you know, that's so accessible. I mean, one minute you're at Man's Chinese Theatre and yeah. the next you're walking up the hill and you're, you're hiking. Just Passing like, my celebrity on the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's you. The whole plan, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully do some celebrity sightings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's some really amazing adventure opportunities in California. Just um, four hours from San Francisco, you can be in Yosemite National Park, which is um, the jewel in the crown of the yeah, U.S. National really Park is. system. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Um, and it's great for people who are you know into the rock climbing and some of these more extreme activities mm -hmm. they've got a beautiful valley floor walk that you can go and see all of the amazing giant uh, granite monoliths and the waterfalls all right there from the valley floor or even on a bus tour yeah. so if you're not you know into the crazy um, rock climbing or any of that it's still really accessible wonderful yeah. and I've just had some friends actually just come back from oh. Lake Tahoe they've oh. been over skiing at the moment special place so, yeah. yeah I mean like great I mean Australia's um, you know does have mountains that are okay for skiing but yeah. Yeah. California is pretty great for skiing, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I do. It's hard to escape the uh, Southern Hemisphere summer for yeah. um, the mountains <laughs> in California for the cold, but it is kind of the only thing that will bring me in that direction that yeah. time of year. There's some incredible ski resorts. Um, so on both the north side of the lake and the south side of the lake, um, the south side of, the, of Lake Tahoe is really beautiful. Um, it's a bit more of a village vibe, so you can kind of go around, have that opera ski feeling, um, yeah, which is great. And then on the northern side, they have... Um, some of the more extreme mountains, so um, Squaw Valley there, which is um, the host of the Olympics back in the 60s. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so some really interesting um, different resorts that you can visit. Um, yeah, and that's just a quick four-hour drive from San Francisco. God, it's amazing. Really like, easy. There really is so much to do and see in California. Yeah. Like, I mean, how long do I need there? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Big really? question. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it depends on how much time you can take. Yeah. Um, typically, people do anywhere from 7 to 12 days, wow, depending on, yeah, on, on what they want to do. So, um, you know, if you do a straight shot drive from LA to San Francisco, you can do it in about 
five hours. Right. Um, that's not on the coastal drive. The coastal drive will be about 11. Oh, you've so got to do the coastal drive. You've got to break it up. Yeah, you, can't just, you can't just jam through it. So yeah. yeah, usually anywhere from about a week to a week yeah, and a half. Well, yeah, it definitely has a lot to offer our viewers. Yeah, so, absolutely. Look, thank you so much for joining us of today. Course, it's my great pleasure. to hear how much California has to offer. You've yeah. got me excited. I want to go back again. We'll have you back. Um, I would love to. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. Thank you. So thanks for watching today and please keep sending through your comments and questions, um, anything you'd like to know about California, we're here to answer your questions. And Adam, before we go, any last tips, um, what the clients should do while they're in LA? Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to downtown LA, make sure to check out LA Live, which is kind of the up and coming hub of restaurants, galleries, uh, bars. It's really where all the young cool kids are going and um, it's it's the, the hot spot where you need to go now so make sure to check that out while you're there. Great, sounds great. Well have a great time in California and thanks for joining us. Thanks Bye. guys.